Hello and welcome back to another evening in the long dark. My name is Michael Batman Guy, and today we're at the top of Timberwolf Mountain, making our way up to the Waterfall Cave, and harvesting harvesting some natural resources along the way while we still got some daylight and uh, it's not too terribly cold out. Oh, there's a live deer getting away from us, and I'm looking for some rocks. Take care of that rabbit over there. And uh, you know what? Sure, let's pick up the birch bark. Not that I need more tinder. And the rabbit's there. Okay, let's head back down, maybe towards the river. I think there's gonna be... Oh, I could eat anything right now. Anything? Yeah, how about rabbit? Maybe some cattail stalks we can pluck. This side? No, because that's, that's where we usually come down. But oftentimes there's rocks along here too. Aw, oh, come on, game. Wait. Do I still have. I've had rocks on me this whole time. That's right. I knew I picked them up for some reason. Okay, so. Here is the big secret to hunting rabbits get behind them. If you can get behind them, aiming becomes. Super easy. And you can get real cl oh. real close without even having to crouch down. See? And oh, missed. That was so close too. He happened to just kind of turn. You know what? I think I'm going to try once more. Overshot. That's okay. I say it's easy, and then, of course, I demonstrate otherwise. It does take a bit of practice, and I am out of practice. So you'll have to be for forgive me on that. But I hope that you are at least able to see already how close I was able to get to him. Uh, without spooking him. Just by staying directly behind him. The trick is they don't always stay going in a straight line. And I know getting tired really throws off your aim with the rifle and the bow. Not sure if that affects the rocks, but we can get real close here. Put the thumb right on his butt. Wham! And there's one rabbit stew coming up. Alright, look away! Oh! squeaks too. There he goes. Sorry little buddy. But I want your meats. You'll be extra tasty tonight. Whew, this pack is getting kinda heavy. And while we're here, get a, I don't know who went and shot this deer. Left it. Completely frozen. So it's gonna take... Oh that's... I think that's a little much. So, how about we go ahead and start our fire right here. Get some of that birch bark and uh, stick. 70% fire chance. Not really protected from the wind, but it's not too windy out right now. I don't think it is. Come on, little fire. Can't tell. The smoke is moving away from me, so I can't really see what angle that's going at. Might be a terrible waste of resources, but all we're losing is durability on the fire striker and a birch bark. I have tons of cat tail heads back down in the cave if I need to gather more tinder at any point. I think there's a bunch of Perfect. cat tails uh, still growing. And I said I would throw this in. Doesn't actually do anything, but makes me feel a little better that it's actually being useful. Okay. Smoke is going at an angle. Not completely protected. But, uh... We're staying warm enough. And it looks like our sticks are doing a decent job. So let's get about an hour on those. And... Just like I said I would do, get a little bit of extra water here. And I'm going to immediately turn that into... 
Oh, we've got, we've got tablets. Yeah, sure, let's use those up. That'll take less time. Can, of course, do this outside of the fire interface, but might as well do it here, since fortunately you can't do anything while cooking something else. I would drink almost anything. Oh, yeah. How about a cup of hot herbal tea? Would you drink that? And I am going to go ahead and drink it now, even though I don't plan on going to sleep right away. I think the effect should still last us. I'm not sure what tool would be best here. I know um, quartering should give us, net us uh, a little bit more meat, but actually if you are careful with this, you can pick different uh, tools here. Uh, for these, and see there the, the knife would be fastest, so if I just did like hatchet for everything, the hatchet would be slower on the hide and guts and the knife would be a little faster. Uh, but we're gonna run out of fire there doing that. So yeah, go ahead. We'll burn a couple of fur logs. That'll be fine. And I think... Um... How am I on condition? 23. We're going to be so ravenous. But while we're waiting for that to thaw, I've got a better idea. We have rabbit. So let's get the rabbit meat. Cook and eat him. Alright, just try to make as much efficient use out of everything as possible. Keep complaining about hunger again. As always, I tell you, these video game characters, that's all they do. Complain, complain, complain. But we'll eat the little morsel there. Drink up. Don't want to get dehydrated. That, that will kill us fairly quickly. That I would be concerned about the damage from. And now that he is fully melted, look at that, we can get this down to 13 minutes with the knife. So have at that. And then, while the fire is still here, since it is less than 50%, we're going to get maximum cook value out of this. Cooking um, meat or, or really any food. Uh, I believe it adds 50% condition to it. So they get still 50 at level 1. Let me check. This was 43. So if that's true, it should be up at uh, 93 in our inventory. Look at that. 93% venison steaks. See? I know what I'm talking about sometimes. Now we can take the hide and guts. And the best we can do is 15 minutes. Alright, and then, how are we on, are you a shrub I can pluck now, and get some crow feathers, completely exhausted so we're going to have a nice long nap when we get indoors, but I'd like to get a few more sticks. And we're gonna do this old trick again. Let's take one, extinguish it, put it away, and take another. And I'll just let the rest burn. That'll be fine. And with this, head on over to the cave. I'm trying to stay as warm as possible. And I will use this to relight our little fire in the back there. A few extra sticks. As I've already found out before, that cave is not always one. Oh, it's an aurora! Oh, that's gorgeous! Oh, wow. Oh, I gotta get another screenshot here. Oh, that's just too pretty. 
Aurora over the over the mountain. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh it wanted me to harvest the cattails. Saw the little icon in the middle. Pop up for just a second. Like, oh, what what am I running through? Didn't think the cattails were that tall. I thought I was up looking at the stars. They're gorgeous in their own right. We'll head into here. And doing okay. Doing okay. Big question would be Oh, we got all that reclaimed wood. They use the torch. Birch bark and stick. Still only have 60% uh, success because we don't get the fire striker bonus. But we should get a couple of attempts out of this torch. If we're lucky. Or I should say if we are unlucky as to not get it on the first attempt. Which we're not. Okay. I get no, I want I wanna use sticks. It's funny I can also select the torch to be the initial fuel as well. Uh, that wouldn't be half bad, I suppose. Since again, it's only going to consume on. the fuel item uh, if you actually succeed in getting it started. But we got to click these buttons as quick as possible. So I lost 4% of torch value in the time it took to fail. So I'm going a little longer. Come on, all the way. Can we get there? Yes! Okay. Add the stick. Add that torch. That's no good. Uh, you know what? Throw that 32 in there. So, that actually did add something to it, because it had some burn left on it. And I don't know why I'm putting sticks in there. Man, I'm I have sure all this. Very much more. There we go. How are we doing? Feels like 19. Well, it's downright hot here. We still have the improved rest condition. So, I'm just going to eat my... Um, do we eat the peanut butter? The venison. How, much, how many calories does 12 hours burn? 900. So, we're going to eat the peanut butter. And if I had a soda... Yeah, let's drink that too. Top off our fluids. And I want just above 900. I don't want to wake up starving. We're going to sleep until high noon. Oh, it's gonna be glorious. Our intrepid survivor here is clearly a college student, staying up till midnight, sleeping until noon. There we go. We have yet more charcoal. Grab our sleeping bag. And once again, we'll leave the Reclaim firewood, and I think I'm going to do one better. We're going to drop a couple of sticks. And I just have the one tinder plug. That's fine. I can get more. So that way, it is all set to start more fires at any time. Oh, I could eat a horse. How are we doing map-wise? If I get close back to where that actual uh, rope is... The container, I think, is right about there. I want to map a little bit more. How's the temperature today? What's the weather like? I only got up to 34. Condition, that's not that great. Uh, the weather is a little cold, but not too cold. So we're going to try again at harvesting these items. See if we can't finally take everything with us. Try to be greedy once again. There, and I'm actually going to put this charcoal away because the game insists on displaying that animation of whipping it out again before it'll let me click on the next thing. So this will go just a slight fraction of a second faster. 
I put that away first. Just now I'm gonna be relying on myself to remember. I won't have that visual cue. Character holding the charcoal out in front of me. To say, hey, do some more mapping. Oh, plenty of opportunity. Come back here and map more later anyways. I think that's probably a safer route. Survival first, map later. This is why um, a lot of veteran players I've seen really don't rely on the in-game mapping mechanic. And uh, if you want to, you know, do well in the game, make your way through an interloper run, uh, you probably shouldn't rely on that too much anyways. Uh, since it, one, takes time uh, to do, and thus leaves your character out in the cold while doing it. And two, you can only map uh, things where you've already been. It's not going to help you locate somewhere you've never seen yourself. So, I encourage anyone looking to pick up the game, go ahead and do it in a... In a lower difficulty level to start with. Uh, even if you think you could play at a higher level. Uh, just to learn the map. Just go out and explore. Don't worry about the survival aspects. Learn where things are. That's gonna make it a lot easier. That's, that's of course only if you want to make the game easier. Some people prefer the challenge, the, the thrill of the unknown, and I do not. I, I am a detective by nature. I do my homework and research far ahead of time whenever I get the chance. Roaring Falls. And that horrible gray sky that surely means wind or fog or blizzard. Something's on the way. I'm almost 100% positive. There'll be some form of bad weather. Exactly what, couldn't tell you. Remember the weather variability is set to high or very high. One of those. Either one is not good. We're trying to predict what's going to happen next. But I think we're going to be okay. It's the getting greedy it gets to us. I'll come back for that. I want to come up here to that, well, what was a deer carcass. Now that I've taken everything, it's all away, but hey, free charcoal. Got four more. And I think we thoroughly mapped this half. So let's grab the last of the lichen. Make our way back to the containers. Make our way back down. Why am I... I'm encumbered already? Oh, okay, just barely. Just over 30. That's fine. We got 20 kilograms of stuff to pick up. That'll sit us right on 50. Where? Just where we want to be. And hey, if I want to save space, I can chow down on one of those delicious venison steaks that I sizzled up last night. I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna get some chow. We're gonna make a map. And we're gonna head down the mountain. We'll be done with this elevation. Ah, feels good. I actually, you know, kind of have accomplished this. You know, it's, it, it is progress. I did this in the wrong order. Probably gonna take like a percent of damage. Now, let's see, fresh venison, 800 calories. Do it, it'll last a good long while. Free up lots of pocket space. Oh, transfer all please. There we go, 49.35. That under 50 
Wow, we can just... We're just gonna blaze a path down there. Almost run. Not quite. I believe 40 is the cutoff for running. Maybe 45. Something like that. No, it's over 30. Just because you have the red encumbered icon. Kind of preferred it. And the... Ow! That wasn't even... Are you kidding me? I've done all this mountain climbing. And, uh, I sprained my ankle there? What gives, game? Seems a little ridiculous. But, let's see, I have 35% condition. Nothing else is bottoming me out. So, this will be a good chance to check whether that's truly going to impact us at all or not. I don't believe it will. So, I've gone before. Staying at 100%. Even with sprains. Just means we can't run. Right? Mobility reduced. Means you can't run. Since we're already over encumbered. Slowed down anyways. Don't think I'm really going to feel the effects of that at all. So I'm not even going to waste any pills on it. We're just going to make our way down here, just like we did before. Nice and easy. Don't want to sprain the other ankle. That, that'll that really be a bad day. Again, not truly as far as in-game effects are actually concerned. But thematically speaking. So we're just going to hobble along until we get to our cave. And you know what I can do? We can make a little map down here. Look at that. Old man's beard lichen. I wonder which lichen the map could be referring to. Hmm, where could it be? Oh, right there. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I like that it puts it on the map. Um, you can also use that map. Um, it's a little bit cheaty in a sense. Um, your character sometimes has better eyes than the player does. Uh, but you can use it to find items that you yourself otherwise cannot see. It'll show up and say, hey, there's a rose hit bush. And you're inspired. You're like, oh, really? And so you start looking around. And sure enough, oh, there it is. Put that icon on there. It's also great for identifying uh, wood limbs. Your large uh, fir or cedar limbs will be indicated on the map. I'm actually warming up. Still at 35%. So, confirmation. Sprain does not do any condition damage. At least not that fast. It's actually warm out. Probably because we got some sunshine. Amazing. Every time I think I've got things figured out, this game throws me for a loop. Better or worse, keeps me guessing. I would not have guessed the weather was going to get better. Nope. Not going to happen. And, uh, still doing great on all fronts. Except, of course, total condition, but we're going to take care of that. Gonna pick up every last thing so we don't need to concern our. I missed one. Dang it. I missed one. Alright. Alright. Fine. We're gonna go for a little bit of length on this episode. Just so I actually have everything. Current old man beard hiding behind the other side of the tree. I'll show you. I'll turn you into a wound dressing. That'll that'll teach you to hide from me. Slap you on some nasty, badass scar I get from picking a fight with a wolf. You'll get all bloody and crusty and nasty, and then, and then I'll peel you off and throw you away. How do you like that? You'll, you'll be the first one on the list. I'm going to have to 
I have to count that my uh, character will actually put those in the right order. Make sure that is the first one they use. Keep it on the top of the backpack pile. You know what? Since we're actually warming up out here, now is a great time to break these down, see if there's anything at all in them. Tinder plugs, yay! Don't need, but we have them anyways. I don't know what she's complaining about now. A little hungry. Okay. Alright. You got me on the hunger. You had that, that lovely venison steak for breakfast? Lunch? We did kind of wake up at noon. Can you eat oh, wait, wait, wise. 52. Yeah, you'd be fine. A little crouch and run. Cleared for takeoff. Doesn't look. Hey, did I. Are those included on the map? No. Let's map that sucker. Put that container on the. List. There we go. Cargo container. There we go. I don't know how you're supposed to get that little portion revealed. I didn't have to go onto a part of the map where you normally can't go. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to maybe try pushing the boundaries. So these walk up right up against the edge. That's a stone. We don't need that. We'll pick up this piece of coal that we left here before. Just so I know there's absolutely nothing else to get upriver. We can leave the cave, look at, you know, this this rock and say, everything above that point has been gotten. Except, of course, for the fire starting material we left up in the waterfall cave. Um, since we are going over time and... It's getting late in the day, although I'm not tired. Maybe we're going to have to sit out here. Read our book. Sit out in front of the cave. Hunt more rabbits. Hey, if we don't plan on coming back for a while, uh, hunt all the rabbits you can. Uh, they'll respawn by the time we make it back here again. There's no harm in having more food. Uh, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a deposit on the outside here. Our fresh meat. So hungry. It will keep better in the cold. Now, of course, I don't plan on sticking around for that long. And this guy, I think if I leave it out here, it's going to start getting frozen, which is going to make it harder to get the skin and guts from. So I'll keep him in my pocket. Just go in and wrap it up. So Next time, we've got some activities to pass the time. Before we are ready to move on to the next stage. Back to the Mountaineer's hut. We had a brief run-in in the first episode. Immediately left it. Oh, I can't wait to see that rickety old shack again. My name is Michael Batman Guy. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.